It's that time of the year again. You're starting to hear all kinds of annoying Christmas songs. And even though I'm all for the Christmas spirit, I don't want to be bombarded with it from the beginning of the year right through until the end of Christmas. So, according to me, as of the 1st of November, after Halloween, you're allowed to start playing Christmas music in your store. But something that goes along with this time of the year on top of Christmas parties is year-end functions. Corporates quite often have year-end functions, but now the question is, a year-end function can be considered entertainment. Can you deduct a year-end function from tax? My name is Jacques Talliot. This is Protea Accounting Services, and I'd like to say thank you very much for taking the time to come and sit and watch this video. First of all, I would like to find out if you enjoyed last week's video, the interview I had with Warren Pridgen from Organic Code. If you would like, if you like that video, I'll set up a quick poll. Um, to basically find out would you like to see more about that type of content or not. It would just give me an idea of whether that kind of thing would be useful for you as a viewer of this channel. Then if you like the content I'm producing, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell button if you see it, and then YouTube will notify you about any, any videos that's been published. But also, there's a video published every Friday morning around 8 o'clock in the morning South African time. Now, having said that, let's get back to the topic at hand. Grab your pen and paper. Well, not really. This is an easy one. In general, a year in function can be considered entertainment. It's an entertainment where you entertain quite often clients, quite often suppliers, and most of the time your employees. Now, that kind of situation asks the question, is it tax deductible or not? This entertainment option that you have, can you claim it from tax, yes or no? Now, the question is, in, in a court case, um, Specifically, Port Elizabeth Electric Tramway Company versus the CIR, uh, 1963 CPD. Uh, the judge then mentioned that for an expense to be tax deductible, it has to be closely related to the production of income. Now, if you are entertaining clients specifically, then quite often you, it can be considered that you are entertaining the clients in order to create new business from them. So in those cases, yes, it would be to, to the production of income. If you're entertaining suppliers, it's not necessarily in the production of income, but it will have that effect that you need to have suppliers in order for you to be, to be producing your income. So in those cases, yes, even the entertainment of suppliers would be considered within the production of income. One other aspect that hasn't been considered here is when you are entertaining staff members, your employees, when you entertain employees, quite often they will have an increased performance, uh, they would have increased productivity, and as a result, your company might experience an increase in profits. In those cases, yes, even entertaining your client or your, your staff members, your employees, will be considered in the production of income. Now, this is a a general rule under section 18a that's been supported by the specific court case. One thing that is though a limitation thereon is VAT on entertainment. So the summary is for income tax purposes, which includes your provisional tax and income taxes at the end of the year, you can claim a staff function entertainment as within the production of income and as a result then you can claim that from income tax. However, VAT on entertainment is specifically excluded. In other words, you cannot claim the VAT input on entertainment. Now, I'll link back to my VAT video on the differences between output and input VAT right here. Um, go take that, go take a look there, but the principle is there is no VAT input on entertainment, which means then the full amount of entertainment, including VAT, will then be considered a tax deduction from income tax. How do you go about this? Should you consider 
if, if you registered for that, should you consider having a year in function or not? Well, if you consider that the VAT is going to be included in your basic expense, then you would be benefiting at 28% of that VAT as well. Be your benefit. This is Jacques Talliard. I'm from Proterra Accounting Services, my channel. If you find this kind of content interesting, please subscribe to the channel. I'm all about advising businesses and helping businesses maximizing their profits, minimizing their tax returns on a legal way without avoiding tax, because tax avoidance is illegal, but about helping businesses grow and maintain and grow stronger and expand and progress from an accounting point of view. So please feel free to subscribe from a beautiful day out here in Gauteng. This is Jacques Talliard and enjoy your weekend.